These are the five things you really need to know as a bare minimum for this device. The first is, if the device makes a noise, there will be a message. If the device makes a noise, don't ignore it. Read the message. And the message will appear in the lower section of the display. The two most common messages are, change the battery or lead is disconnected. Second thing you need to know is the yellow button. This button is there to unlock the device. None of the parameters are changeable unless you unlock the device first. So for example, if you try to change the rate, you can't. You have to unlock the device before you can change the rate. If you don't do anything with the device for 30 seconds, it will lock automatically. The third thing to know is the red button. The red button is the emergency button and this turns the device into asynchronous pacing with maximum output. You have to press the yellow button first and then you press the red emergency button. The pace 203 will immediately go to DOO asynchronous pacing. There is no sensing in the atrium or the ventricle and therefore no values are displayed. The device stimulates with a maximum output that is 18 volts in the atrium as well as in the ventricle. And it will also check to see whether the leads are connected. You can see here the atrial lead and the ventricular lead is disconnected. I press the OK to stop the tone. The fourth thing is how do you turn the device off? And to do this, you press the yellow button to unlock and then you press the off button. Afterwards, you'll have a choice of two. Either you completely turn off the device by choosing off, then all recently changed parameters are deleted and a standard set of parameters will appear as soon as the device is turned on again. Or you choose the option standby in the menu. The device will go off. And then should you need pacing and turn it on, within four seconds, the device is going to come back exactly as you left it which in this case was emergent synchronous pacing. Standby is mostly useful when you are preparing the device pre-surgery and you want it set up with a set of parameters and then turn the device off. Knowing that when you turn it on, it will come up exactly as you left it. It's also useful to have it in standby when you are connected to the patient, but you don't actually need the pacemaker at the moment. So for example, you are almost finished, still connected to the patient, put the device into standby. When you have disconnected from the patient and you have no need of the pacing box, then you can turn it off. The fifth thing to know is how to change the battery. If the battery voltage is no longer sufficient, you can recognize this at the top of the display. The dark bar shows only one segment. In addition, an acoustic warning signal appears and it will give you the message, change the battery in the lower display. Changing the battery is very simple. You don't, disconnect from the patient. You simply turn the device over and there is a small flap. You move it to the side and press the button and the battery just tips out into your hand. And if you put the device down, you can see that the device is still pacing. It is giving you the message saying, change the battery. You should take a new nine volt battery and the new battery can go in either this way or that way. It's not critical as long as the connection poles go first. You pop it in, then close it, close the flap, there is no more buttons to press. The PACE 203 will carry on stimulating without a pause exactly as you left it. Be aware that some batteries have a little plastic cap on like this that needs to be removed before you put a new battery in. So there are five things you really need to know about this device. If it makes a noise, there is a message. You need to press the yellow button to unlock it. If you don't do anything with the device for 30 seconds, it will lock anyway. The third thing you need to know is the red button, which is an emergency button to give you a maximum output in the emergency situation. The fourth thing you need to know is how to turn it off by pressing the off button and choosing standby or off. And the fifth is how to change the battery.